Hey, it's happening. Oh my gosh, you guys are going bonkers in the chat already. I was in the green room and macking on some some M and M's. Rudak, I like uh, cool downers. What up, cool downers? Hey, Kelly. Hey, Peppy and Keith. And hello, Maat. Hey, Michael. Oh man, our snow finally cleared up enough today that I could leave the house for a little bit. It was actually kind of nice out today. Sounds like Portland got nailed though. It sounds miserable up there. Well, hey kitty. Uh, man, we our snow melted today, but it was, to be honest, mostly just ice. It was really rough to like even like go down the sidewalk. We're on a hill too. Like most of our neighbors have like wrecked their own um, mailboxes this week just from all the ice driving their own cars into it. Oh, thank you, Mark. Uh, yeah, everyone remember to like the video. And if you aren't subscribed, subscribe. Um, so if everyone remembers last week, in last week's episode, we were um, fighting Ganondorf. And I did these guys. So I scanned them in to the computer. So I scanned them into the computer and photoshopped them together. And this is where we're at. And I think my plan is to <clears throat> do a pretty serious like underpainting with uh, burnt umber ink and then um, then after that go in with color and with the final blacks and highlights and stuff after that. So starting from like a mid-tone and working our way darker and lighter. And I think I'm going to have Ganondorf be like, kind of looking like he's coming through the mist a little bit. Like he'll be pushed back a little bit and then Link will be really um, dark in the final piece and be like popping forward. Hey, Edie. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Did you print it out on your watercolor paper or do you transfer it somehow? Yeah, I printed this out straight onto my, um, I actually didn't do watercolor paper. I did um, my Strathmore mixed media paper that I, I use for most everything. <clears throat> Man, and everyone who like has been, you know, watching the streams for the last couple of months has known I've been really uh, working hard to find a new paper and I have not found anything that beats the Strathmore mixed media paper. It's not perfect, but man, it is really, really good paper. And especially for the price. And yeah, you're right, Pippi, it is 11 by 17. And I got it taped down onto uh, just a piece of uh, foam core.
about to place a comic making supply order. I'm trying to find the right ink to get. I am using tonight um, FW acrylic ink burnt umber. This is my favorite um, underpainting ink. And really, it's like a very traditional like color for underpainting for like oil painting and um, and I guess acrylic painting as well. <laughs> Thanks, Pippi. Me too. Like, I have been, I don't know, I've been drawing and painting long enough that um, I usually go into a, a painting with a pretty good plan, but I never really have, like, a super clear picture in my head of what it's going to look like. It's always, um, it's always a little bit surprising. Yo, yo, what up, Morgan? It's nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. I thought I had my camera where I wouldn't be sticking my head in the way all day, but apparently not. <laughs> Links left handed. I don't know if it matters really for this pose, but um, dang, now I gotta make double check and make sure. I'm pretty sure in the new one, his um, it's his right arm that is the uh, the corrupted arm or whatever. Hey, Stapled Spy and Horror Zine. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Fucking Richie. Now I'm going to look it up.
Okay. Yeah, it is his right arm that is like the corrupted arm. I don't know if corrupted is the right word. Link's got to show up sometime in this video. There it is. Definitely right hand. Okay. I think Ganondorf needs more rings.
not finding any quick reference, but I'm going to give him rings anyway. Um, Kitty, sometimes I do warm up before I start inking. Um, I've been drawing all day, so I'm kind of warmed up. Well, I guess I haven't been drawing all day, but I'm kind of warmed up already. Um, kind of depends on how I'm feeling just when I come into the studio in the mornings. Some days I am definitely cold. And it takes some effort to get going. Though to be honest, like, inking is um, my favorite part, I think, of making comics or making pictures. And it doesn't take much for me to sort of like get ready to jump right in and like always chomping at the bit to do it And I appreciate you saying that I'm precise. It always, it often does feel like um, I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm inking. Like I'm still sort of like, like I, I would really like my lines to become, be, like I want them to be more intentional than they usually are, but um, I'm getting better. Like the thing with inking that took me forever to really figure out is just that like is that intentionality of it like you really have to um, make every line actually mean something which so and you know at sometimes that can be really exhausting actually but um 
And there are people who, I guess, don't really need to do that. Like, I don't know if Guy Davis really has, like... A lot of his lines don't have that feeling of intentionality, but eh, maybe they do. They just have that sketchy, loose feeling that makes it feel like he's just scribbling, kind of. Oh, Keith, I didn't know you could refill microns. That's very interesting. Good tip, Pippi. <laughs> His lines feel like they were drawing their way out of him through the page. Yeah, they feel like... Um, Yeah, I don't know how to ex express it quite, but yeah, his lines definitely felt like they, um, they had an energy and, uh, like they were just excited to be on the page and they don't like, <clears throat> with his work, like an individual line isn't as important as the whole for sure. Like when you look at, um, uh, What's that book he did that he wrote? The Marquis. Like that can get very, very scribbly. But when you pull back and you look at it, it's, you know, a beautiful like church facade or whatever. Man, Guy Davis is one dude that I hope he's making, like, just truckloads of cash making movies. I miss seeing his comic books. Or I miss getting new comic books from him. Yeah, the Marquis is one of the prettiest books he ever did. I don't know, I think it's probably the prettiest book he ever worked on. Yeah, Rudak, he's doing um, concept art for movies. He's like, 
He does a ton of stuff with um, Guillermo del Toro. Like he did a ton of um, concepts for what? What was that giant robot movie? And he worked on um, Pinocchio. If you follow him on Instagram, like every once in a while, he'll post. Um, new concept art for a movie or a, or a cartoon that's coming out that he did creature designs on. Pacific Rim, that's the movie. Oh, man, they need to... Yeah, I would love a Guy Davis. Um, art book with just his movie stuff. Yeah, Guy Davis, man, he's done a ton of movies, man. I don't even know what all he's done. Like, I wonder if that guy, I wonder if there's an IMDb page for his movie stuff. I don't know. The really nice thing I think about Pinocchio was that um, they let it look like stop motion. Saw an interview with Guillermo del Toro where he was talking about asking them to make it a little bit more jerky because, like the the trend nowadays is to just make the stop motion feel as smooth and perfect as possible. And I agree with him that it, do, it doesn't, like it should look like stop motion. Oh yeah, that's right, Mark, he did Over the Garden Wall. He's done a lot of stuff with um, Leica Going all the way back to when he was still working on BPRD, he was doing some of that stuff. I think largely, well, I don't know where he worked at the time. Um, Leica is pretty local to, to me. They're like um, here in Oregon. And I don't think Guy Davis lived in Oregon at the time, but I could be wrong.
I'm kind of just winging the details type boat. I'm like, some of these details I'm thinking about the, um, uh, the shrines and the way they're designed. I'm trying to bring that in a little bit. Do you ever scan your inks before painting? Um, I have occasionally in the past. There's not a lot of benefit to it um, for me. Because um, there's not a lot I can do with the inks like once they're scanned. Like if I, I can't really print them out and paint over them because the ink just isn't as black. Like my, I just don't have a printer that makes it worthwhile. Um, there have been some rare occasions where I've done it and then needed to re-ink for some reason and um, inking over inks is really fast. Like that's a way faster way to, um, to ink than um, inking over pencils because all the decision making has been done. But um, no, usually, like, going through the process of scanning and and saving the files and managing the files is more work than it's worth for me. But because I digitally pencil everything, I always have that to go back to. So if I go, like, super off the rails, I can always go back to my pencils. It's pretty rare, but it does definitely happen where I have to like completely abandon a piece and go back to square one. Thank you, Ma. Got to keep those likes liked.
Oh, thanks, Tugboat. You know what? Let me go grab that. Uh, do I know where that is? Let me see. Hold on. No, sorry. I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's around here someplace. That uh, that Operation Sunshine cover, though, turned out nice, though. I like it. Hey, Ajax. It is starting to warm up in the PNW. Thank goodness. Like I, I actually like a little bit of snow in the winter time, but I like a little bit of snow in the winter time. And I don't like these ice storms, man. They stink. Like <laughs> these ice storms, sometimes you'll be like stuck in your house. And like you literally can't get to the street and um, but the street is not icy. But you're risking life and limb to try to get that far to go, you know, 20 feet. Oh man, Kelly, yeah, it was rough getting stuck in the house. And Portland got it way worse than we did. A couple years ago, we got, um, the ice storm was so bad, it was terrifying. Like, my parents lost power for like 10 days. We had a couple tree limbs come down on the house. Luckily, nothing like that really damaged the house, but um, but maybe it did actually. We had a leak there um, a year later, so it might have been. I'm like an hour and a half or two hours sort of south of Portland. We live out in the boonies. Oh, nice, Ajax. 
Man, concrete is good reading. I wonder if they're gonna make more of those. They definitely need to get like a, like a library edition going or something for those. Chadwick's a nice guy, too. He's, um, I don't know if he's on Blue Sky. I don't recall. But um, just talking to him on uh, Twitter all the time. He's a very nice man. Which is kind of what you would expect from someone who wrote Concrete, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some talk about it, Kelly. I mean, I do wonder, like, like I do wonder if the who that book appeals to, other than sort of '90s kids like me. Well, I think I might call it quits with Ink and Ganondorf. I'm so tired. This has been a really long day. Yeah, Mark, I could, like, Concrete's one of those books that I could see, like, it not clicking with people for any number of reasons. Because it is, like, definitely, it feels... Like, when it was coming out, it was, like, incredibly, like, fresh and new, and no one had ever done a book like that. Um, and rereading it recently, it feels a little bit slower, you know? But, um, but I find myself leaning more and more towards, like, stories that are sort of slower. And I guess it's a little bit, like, um, like, I wouldn't call it preachy. But it's like, uh, I don't know, it's discussing stuff that seems really obvious to like a modern audience, but I think at the time when it was coming out, it was like really sort of um, talking about stuff that nobody was talking about. Hey, thanks Keith, thanks for dropping by. I hope you have a good weekend. Yeah, Rudak, the the art was so good in that. Is so good in that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it quits for the night. Poor little Link's not gonna get inked right now. I don't know. I might take a little bit of a crack at this between now and next Friday, but um, probably we'll be working on this a little bit more next Friday. Yeah, okay, that's it. Thanks, everybody, so much. I always um, I always have a really nice time hanging out with everybody. I'm so glad you guys come by and watch me draw. And it really does work as a cool down, even if I end up um, working tomorrow, which I probably will. But, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend and have a great week. And I hope you get a chance to tell the people that you love how much you love them and get to spend some time with them. And I love all you guys. And I will talk to you next week if I could get my mouse to click on the thing. All right. Bye, everybody.